Good morning guys, this is your Sir DRV again and welcome back to my channel. And uh, for today, um, we will be reviewing um, the best campaign support and uh, best PVP support. So, <clears throat> who might that be? Well, without... Let me introduce you the best campaign and PVP support that is NUA. Yes, you heard it right. It's NUA. Although um, she doesn't heal that much, <clears throat> but her f uh, fourth skill that makes uh, always a 4B1 uh, fight makes her uh, the best um, campaign and PvP support. So, um, before we explain it further, let me just uh, walk you through on her skills. <clears throat> so, let's check her ultimate. <clears throat> so, for ultimate, it's Mend the Sky. New one mends the sky with the five color stones and boosts herself and ally. Ally heroes with the distinct effects based on their hero types <clears throat> for seven seconds. So, brown, it's always for Nua. Uh, it increases her attack speed by 50%. And red, tank. So, if you have a tank hero on the team, uh, that tank will recover 6% of max health per second. So, yeah, she, she is actually considered as a healer as well, but um, only for selected heroes. <clears throat> and for yellow, fighter. So who are the fighters? So one example is Susano. And <clears throat> uh, Lucifer. Those are the fighters. Or um, you can actually check it here. Fighters is the sword. So if you click that, it will show you all the fighters. So we have Oberon, Artemis, Lucifer, um, Medusa, and Susano. All right, so those are the fighters. And blue mage, increase crit chance and crit damage by 30%. So if you have uh, Tamamome combined with Nuwa, <laughs> then Tamamo will be incredible, incredibly uh, a good DPS. And green restores the 30 energy every second. So we will talk about that uh, green support for bosses later, okay? Because Nua is one of the best uh, support for bosses as well. What's her next skill? So the passive, the five colored stones, the stones that is encircling Nua. You see that? So <clears throat> at the beginning of the battle, Nua sinks her five stone scholars to match her allies, hero types, and gains a battle bonus bonus based on these scholars. <laughs> Bonuses are stackable. So for Nua, the brown increased max health by 20%. Red tank increases attack by 10%. And yellow increases dodge by 10%. Blue increase defense by 30%. And green increase, increase, increases crit chance by 10% again. <clears throat> so if you have uh, three fighters, for example, all your team will gain... Uh, 10% plus 10% plus 10% if you have three uh, fighter in your lineup so that will be 30% dodge so how good is that <laughs> that's how good this uh, passive is so if you have uh, three let's say <clears throat> two supports on your team it will increase your crit chance by 20% for your whole team team so that's how good this five colored stones okay <clears throat> so next the pillars of the sky nua summons a sky pillar 
to remove a random enemies for 3 seconds. An extra bonus will be added according to the color of the stones when the skill is cast. So this is one of the best skills that makes Nua uh, best at campaigns, <coughs> best at PvP, because he's literally uh, making uh, a 4 versus 5 or 5 versus 4 fight. So aside from that, there's also another uh, bonuses. So for Brown, Nua deals 100% damage. For red, the tanks in your team deals 50% damage to enemies near the target. For yellow, stuns enemies near the target for 0.75 seconds. For blue, the sky pil pillar lasts for an extra 2 seconds. And for green support, deals 50% extra damage. So this is basically uh, a cheat <laughs> um, aside from removing enemy uh, she's actually giving another set of bonuses that's pretty insane and lastly the lustrous land Nuwa's five colored stones will cycle through the colors every auto attack producing a different bonus for the next auto attack so for brown removes 100 energy from the target for red, attack three enemies at the same time. Yellow stuns two targets at the same t same time for five seconds. Blue recovers 10% of max health for the weakest ally, and green deals 220% damage. <clears throat> so whenever um, Nua auto attack, it will actually change her um, this lamps that encircles her. So the colored stones, so it will give you another um, random bonuses, whatever color uh, appears on those uh, on those uh, lamps or colored stones. So another pretty good skill. <clears throat> so just like I mentioned, if you enhance Nua and make her uh, as your permanent member of the team, uh, you won't regret it definitely Nuwa is the best so there's actually a prerequisite also in order for you to maximize her capability you need to have at least a mythic Nuwa mythic Nuwa so why mythic Nuwa at least red mythic one so why mythic Nuwa because you will need to unlock the last 400 weapon. So we're looking at the weapon right now. At 100, for 5 seconds after releasing the Mend the Sky, all ally heroes will be immune to control. So remember guys, uh, Mend the Sky is her ultimate, okay? And for 10 seconds after releasing Mend the Sky, all ally heroes will be immune to control so if you're um, most of the enemies in the latter part of the campaign have stuns even those SR like um, uh, the enemy that has a sickle um, what else who who is stunning um, uh, let's check those SRs so this one often appears on the campaign the dracula and the sickle one it here i uh, no, no, not this where is the undead with a sickle yeah uh, where it is where are you undead with the sickle I know it's Tanato, sorry. <laughs> so this one actually uh, stuns pretty, uh, pretty good in campaigns and in hell, hell mode, and in elite mode. So <clears throat> if you have new one on the team, she will definitely save you uh, from the from those stuns after releasing the ultimate. All right, so. <clears throat> The 300 is during the Lustrous Land, the energy removed from the target will be 
transferred to Nuwa. So, what is the lustrous land? Here, the lustrous land, uh, whenever uh, Nuwa attack, right? So, whenever uh, uh, Nuwa auto attack the enemy, she will actually get, uh, or she will remove energy from the target and it will be transferred to Nuwa. So, it's like you getting another uh, energy boost. And the last one, the best um, weapon skills is he, here. At the beginning of the battle, Nuwa uses Pillars of the Sky. So remember guys, Pillar of the Sky is the third skill, which <clears throat> remove enemy or which hurls the enemy up to the sky and uh, basically removing him or removing that enemy from the battle so that's what you need to target if you have uh, nuwa and you want her as your main uh, support so that's it guys that's the best uh, weapon skills that you need to unlock so um if you're done with your let's say main damager You've, you already uh, reached 400 on your main damager, damager. I suggest you focus on Nua if you, ha if you have her and you're willing to <clears throat> uh, get her. Um, then focus on unlocking the 400 weapon and it will do wonder. So where can you get Nua? First, you can get it from the arena. Here, you see, I already bought Nuwa. Um, I'm going to buy Lucifer next, and then <clears throat> if you have unlocked the Astrolabe of Fate already, you can also get Nuwa from here on the left side. So, um, if you're wondering where to get these stones, um, you can actually our Fate Crystal you can actually get it from the divine chronicles and quest from the Bice, uh, divine chronicles so there's a lot of free um astrolabe of fate crystals there so just farm it or if you're willing to dish out some gems then you can summon 10 times for 5000 gems if you are really uh, willing to get or you wanted to get Nuwa. Aside from that, you can also get Nuwa from shards. You are shards by uh, getting lucky on the core and also by completing some elite campaign stages. So whenever you complete an elite campaign, you will get five you are shards. All right, so what else? Um, here on the Halloween event, you can actually get a full UR here on the mystery rewards. So if you have uh, rainbow candies, make sure to focus getting this one, the mystery re reward, because you can get one complete UR here. I'm not joking because uh, I already got one and um, you can also ask your guildmates or friends um, who have tried getting something here. I'm pretty sure they've already got one as well. All right, so after that, we're done with the weapon. Then let's go to the equipment. So I think most of you guys already know what to equip, what to equip her because uh, we are focusing on skills. So the air rune is the best, okay? air rune and then um, you can use the shield for her to um, be tanky a little bit tanky because you don't want her to die easily in the battle because you need the the third skill right the skill where he or she swirls the enemy to the sky so you can also use <clears throat> the Yasakani Magatama because 
there's a 42% chance or there's a chance to halve the cooldown of the same skills. So imagine if you hurl one enemy and the cooldown resets, she can hurl another enemy to the sky. So there's a chance that it'll be 5b3. That's how good Nua is. Okay? <clears throat> So there's no question asked. Um, the rune for her is always air rune. Okay, you can all, you can change the weapon or the artifact, but not the rune. All right, <clears throat> how about divinity? Let's check her divinity skills. So <clears throat> if you're just starting out, then what you can get is this one at the beginning of the battle. The enemy hero in the same formation position across this hero will have 50% less accuracy. <clears throat> so if you're battling a boss, just uh, put Nua in line with that boss and th that boss will have 50% less accuracy. Good for bosses. Another one is this one, dodge the first enemy the uh, damage dealt. So however, if for end game, if you have uh, unlocked these these uh, other nodes, then one of the best skills is this one. After releasing ultimate for the first time, increases damage dealt for 30% for 8 seconds. Uh, good for PvP and bosses. Um, for every 6 seconds of health loss, increase attack by, <clears throat> by 1%. Mm. Let's see, let's check other attacks or other skills. Okay, so I think this is better. After applying a, a control skill, increase attack by 10% for 5 seconds. So since um, almost all of her skills is control skills, then just get this. Alright, so this one, Supernova. Maestro and then the full moon so those are the three um, skills that you need you you can use but uh, for the moment if you don't have any um, resource to upgrade her uh, divinity then you can just uh, use whatever uh, you have all right because uh, your only main focus is this one, the pillars of the sky where she uh, throws the enemy to the sky. All right, <clears throat> so let me just show you how she uh, she's doing those skills. Okay, so Nuwa, there, you see that? She's throwing enemy to the sky. So if you have, uh, let's say, the 400 weapon at the start of the battle, she will actually uh, throws one enemy to the sky right away. That's how good it is. You see that whenever new attack, uh, it changes. It changes colors, right? So these two are light hero. That's the reason why there's three uh, lights on here. Oh, sorry. Uh, is this a green hero? Yeah, brown, brown. Brown is for Noah and there's two light. So these two are light hero, are green hero. <laughs> Let me just check, sorry. What's the color of that hero? Uh, the one with the spear, where are you? Light, so yeah, they are light. I don't know, where's the spear one? Here, so light. So there's three lights uh, encircling Nua, <clears throat> and there's two green. So most probably those lights is for 
uh, these two and the green is for Noah all right so that's how the skill works and um, right now I'm still doing her divinity and weapon uh, hopefully I can get to 400 in uh, three to four days and that will start uh, my Nua getting insane all right so that's it for today and that's it for this segment and uh, thank you very much for watching i uh, hope you've learned something about Nua and uh, please leave a comment and uh, please also like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching uh, see you on my next video